Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. I hope you will continue to watch these videos on Shelf Life's YouTube channel and Shelf Life's Facebook pages. Uh, these reviews can also be found on the Goodreads site under Paul Suter's page. That's S-U-T-T-E-R. So I hope you'll continue to look there for these reviews. The two titles this time out I'm going to bring to you. The first one is The 22 Murders of Madison May by Max Berry. This is published by Putnam and it retails for $36. Um, I'm fascinated by the idea of the parallel universe, the multiverse, where supposedly there's worlds out there where we exist in parallel universes, living different lives. Now I often wonder if I'm out on a parallel universe, am I still the editor and publisher of Shelf Life? Or is somebody else handling it? Uh, that aside, um, like I say, I'm really fascinated. And that's why I really was most intrigued by the 22 murders of Madison May, because it actually deals with the multiverse, a parallel world where Madison May exists. And on every parallel world, she is murdered. Uh, there's a man pursuing her. His name is Clayton Hors, and he is in prison. But on every universe, he escapes, and he kills her. Now, in the present world, supposedly, um, she is a real estate agent. And I should add that in every parallel universe, she has a different profession. But here, she's a, a real estate agent, and she's showing someone a house. Um, and that person happens to be Clayton Hors and he murders her. Now, a reporter, Felicity Staples, is sent to cover the case, and she thinks it's very odd, and it's just, just something doesn't sit right with her. So later, she is on a subway platform, and a man comes up to her and frantically hand, hands her a metal egg, and then he pushes her on the subway tracks. Now, she doesn't die, but she becomes aware that this metal egg has sort of magical properties and soon she can get from parallel universe to parallel universe. And there she realizes that Madison May on each of these worlds is being murdered by Clayton Hors, a different method each time to kill her. So it becomes a fascinating chase as she wants to set things right and make Madison, make sure Madison May is alive on this world. Uh, so it, it becomes a, the typical cat and mouse game. Now the man who handed her the egg, Hugo Gorelli, uh, he also tries to help her in these worlds as well too. So it's uh, like a chase to the finish and uh, it becomes more engrossing as time goes on. Can he save her? Um, how will it all play out in these universes as she is murdered like 22 times? So this is definitely a book that is fascinating from fir first page to last. Um, this book has definitely gotten great attention in um, all the magazines and newspapers and is definitely a must-read book. I totally agree. So if you're looking for a great read, seek out The 22 Murders of Madison May.